Why do people have sex? It might seem like a silly question, but it's an extremely important question. For many years, it was assumed that humans had sex for three basic reasons. To reproduce, to experience pleasure, and to relieve sexual tension. However, recent studies indicate that there are in fact hundreds of different reasons for sex. Not understanding people's motivations for sex can have detrimental impacts on relationships. If you consider a typical relationship between a man and a woman, the man would most likely want to have sex for pleasure, and the female would most likely want to have sex for love and commitment. In such a relationship, sex either doesn't occur or occurs but is dissatisfying for both partners. One of the most notable studies on sexual motivation was conducted by two psychologists from the University of Texas, Professors Cindy Meston and David Buss. You can find a link to their 2007 research paper below this video. In the first part of their study, Meston and Buss surveyed 444 psychology students, 203 males and 241 females, aged between 17 and 52 years. And they confidentially asked them the same question that you were asked in our YSEX survey, namely, to list the reasons why people engage in sexual activity or sex. Students identified an incredible 237 different reasons for sex, ranging from the expected, I want to experience physical pleasure, to the altruistic, I wanted the person to feel good about himself or herself, to vengeful, I wanted to get back at my partner for having cheated on me. In the second part of their study, 1,549 participants were asked to evaluate the degree to which each of the 237 reasons for sex had led them to have sexual intercourse. Four large factors and 13 sub-factors were identified. The first large factor is emotional reasons. Sub-factors include love and commitment, to feel connected, to bond, to express love in a relationship. And secondly, expression, to express an emotion to a partner such as, I missed you. The second large factor is physical reasons. These include stress reduction, to relieve anxiety or stress, pleasure, to feel good, have fun or experience an orgasm, physical desirability, to be sexually with someone who is physically attractive. And finally, experience seeking, to see what sex is all about or to act out a fantasy. The third factor is goal attainment reasons. These include resources to obtain something such as a child, job or money. Social status, to be popular, impress or enhance one's reputation. Revenge, to get back at a partner or make someone jealous. And utilitarian, to get out of doing something or test compatibility. And the final large factor is insecurity reasons. These include a self-esteem boost, to feel better, powerful, attractive, or to get attention. And duty or pressure, to fulfill an obligation or duty. And finally, mate guarding, to get a partner to stay or to promote faithfulness. In their study, Meston and Buss also noticed several gender differences in reasons for sex. Men were much more likely to have sex for physical, insecurity or goal attainment reasons, but both men and women were equally likely to have sex for emotional reasons. In addition, monogamous participants primarily had sex for love and commitment, whilst those comfortable with sex outside of a monogamous relationship were more likely to have sex for physical, goal attainment and insecurity reasons. To summarise, we hope that you now have an appreciation for the many varied reasons why people have sex. It's not just because it feels good or we want a baby.